In this video, I want to show you how to do a combo chart. It's also called a, a two axis chart. The reason that you need such a chart is to plot two different types of data on the same chart at the same time. If you look at this data on this spreadsheet, notice column K and it has the percent of total. And notice how the, the numbers in column K are much smaller than all of the other numbers in the spreadsheet. So if I try to plot column K on the same chart as the other numbers, then you would hardly even see um, that on the chart. So let's see how we're going to make it into a combo chart or a two axis chart. So first of all, like any other chart, we're going to highlight the data. I'm going to highlight from A3 all the way over to K9. And we're going to start the chart as normal. I'll pick on insert. And I'll pick on the normal column chart. And we'll go for this one right here. Now, I'm going to make this bigger, and I'll move it over here, and I'll make the chart bigger for you by stretching out from the sizing handle. So, you can see the percent of total, but you can hardly even see the numbers because they're too small compared to the other numbers. So, that's what we're trying to deal with. Now, the next step that you want to do is you want to make sure that we're a percent of total or the section that you're going to try to make into um, uh, on the second axis. You want to make sure it's on what we call the legend. So the way you do that is you come over here on the design menu of the chart and you pick on switch row and column. Notice what that does. It puts the percent of total on the legend. Uh, now, it should be this green color and it should be right there and right there and so on but it's just too small. Uh, so, but now we're going in the right direction. The next step is I want to click on the word percent of total. Then I'll click on the word percent of total a second time. So it's um, segmented by itself, just like that. Now watch what I'm going to do. We're going to change the chart type of that one section. Now uh, I'm going to include a step here that you would do in Excel 2010. I'm going to right click where it says percent of total. And you're going to get this screen, and you pick on Format Data Series. Now, in the Format Data uh, Series screen, you're going to pick on Secondary Axis. All right, Secondary Axis. And we'll close that window. Notice how the percent of total is visible, but it, it's on the second uh, axis, which is on the right-hand side over here. But it doesn't look uh, quite right. So here's the next that you're going to do. We're going to change the chart type of that one section. So I'm going to click on the green bar so it's selected. I'll pick on Change Chart Type under the Design menu. Now, if you were using Excel 2010, you would just pick one of your chart types at, at this time. In Excel 2013 or 16, uh, here you have, uh, you can actually make a different chart type for each different section on the chart. So there's the percent of total right there. I'm going to click on the pull down. And I'll make it a line chart. Now, uh, see this over here. This box is another way to put that on the secondary axis. That's available in 2013 and 2016. So if you didn't do it the other way, you can do it just by checking that box right there. And I'll click on OK. And this is what I'm shooting for. Now, I can see the percent of total. It's that green line, as you can see on the legend. And it's on the right-hand side, uh, which is the second axis. Now you see why it's called a combo chart, because it's a combination of a column chart and a line chart in the same chart. So uh, what I'll do here is I'm going to click on that green line, and I might make one more enhancement to that. I might want to see the numbers on the, the green line. It's called a data label. So I'll pick in the design menu. I'll say add chart element, the data label, and I'll say above. And notice how that puts the numbers above the green line. And now this is a, the more complete chart. So the trick here, everybody, was you had to put the percent of total or that section on the, um, the legend. The way you did that is switch row and column. Then to put that on the second axis, I right clicked, uh, I clicked on the word percent of total, clicked on the word percent of total a second time so it's selected by itself. I right clicked on it and I said format data series. And there you say secondary axis. Then we change the chart type of that one section only. As you can see, I changed it to a line. 
And then we have the effect that we're looking for. This is a combo chart or a two axis chart.